This is BBC Radio Wales. Good evening, Wales. It's four o'clock on Thursday, the 27th of August. This is my Davis and Kayleigh Thomas. Our top stories. It used to be called murder ball. Now the fast-moving world of wheelchair rugby is being opened up for Welsh teenagers. Now, the Great Britain Wheelchair Rugby Youth Initiative was launched at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff today. It's the first time wheelchair rugby has had a youth element. It'll open up the sport to players from 10 to 14 years old. Uh, David Pond is the CEO of Great Britain Wheelchair Rugby. 13-year-old Max Davis from Patalbert is a member of the Wheelchair Rugby Youth Squad. They came in and spoke to us just before we came on air. I asked Max what it's like to play the game. It's like messing about and having fun and learning new sport uh, and it's just good as playing and getting new friends. Yeah. How long have you been playing it? About a year now. Yeah. Is it difficult to learn? A little bit in the first couple of weeks. Yeah. I tell you what, it's fast though, isn't it? Yeah. Do you tackle a lot? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Or do you get tackled a lot? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, David's with us, David Pond. Um, you're the CEO of uh, Great Britain Wheelchair Rugby. It is, I've been watching some today actually, it is a very fast sport, isn't it? It is a very fast sport and I think that's one of the great attractions. It's very dynamic, uh, all the big crashes people love. And yes, and certainly at international level, it's phenomenally fast. Yes. Uh, when you say crashes, you really mean crashes as well, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Big crashes. I mean, that's, you know, I think that's what the spectators like. And I have to say the athletes like it as well. I was going to say the athletes chair. look like they're enjoying it. They, they do. They love to put in a big smash. Yeah, and it's got quite a reputation, hasn't it? Because it used to be called Murder Ball, didn't it? Because it is so aggressive. <laughs> yeah, and it's still called Murder Ball, which came, of course, from a from a film that was originally done between the United States and Canada. So it's quite an iconic film now. And um, But, yeah, Murder Ball, it's still... Most of the media love picking it up as Murder Ball. Mm. Um, and you're expanding now so that more young people have the chance to play. You've got youth teams. You've got Max here. Max, you're 13, aren't yeah. you? So um, how many friends have you got of your age in the team? Are they roughly the same age? Um, some about my age, some are younger, and uh, about two or three of them are older. Yeah. It's, is it important that, that, that kids like Max and of his age get the chance to play? I think so, yeah. I mean, what we've been trying to do over the last couple of years really is, is really develop the game and to provide opportunities for lots of different groups of people. And actually, the youth was the one group we were really keen to harness. Um, so it, it is very important. And um, the, the great thing being here in Wales today is this is the start of our BT National Youth Programme. And the first team, you know, to be branded in that way is the Welsh team. Welsh team, and you know, thanks to the Welsh Rugby Union as well, because they're the ones that's kind of provided them with the shirts, and and they're going into the, the tournament in October, branded as you know the Welsh Rugby Union uh, youth team. And Max, perhaps you can clear up a bit of confusion because me and Maya are a little bit confused because we've been watching this today on our computers, and sometimes it's played with a rugby ball, sometimes it's played with what looks like a volleyball. How do you play it then? Every 10 seconds in a w when you push, uh, you have to bounce it. And it's a, okay, round, so it's a round ball, yeah. is it? Oh, OK. We were confused, you see, because we saw a game on, on the computer where they were playing with a rugby-shaped ball, but it's not. that's not what you use, is no. it? No. No. OK, so you push the ball with your hands, Yeah. and then you've got to keep it moving? No, you uh, put it on your lap and you push with your arms. Ah, oh, right. And uh, every 10 seconds you just put, bounce it or pass it. So you're not allowed to hang on to it for more than 10 seconds? No. Is it quite hard work, Max? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. being modest. I think he is, isn't he? Do you get puffed out by it sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you how did you come to play wheelchair rugby? Because I mean, you say you've been playing it for about a year. How did you first sort of discover it then, Max? Um, in my school, uh, my teacher uh, brought her into the school. She uh, found her out on the internet. OK. And, and were your friends kind of really interested in having a go? Yeah. And how are they doing? They're doing good, too. Yeah? <laughs> are, you, are you better than them, though? Mm, don't know. We're like the <laughs> You're same. all the same. That's a very diplomatic answer. That's what, great. And what position do you play? Defence. Defence. So are you scoring at all? Or you, are you... Sometimes, sometimes I score, sometimes I uh, defend and right. attack. David, it's, what's interesting about the youth element of the team is that you've got lots of able-bodied... Um, people are interested in playing and it's not quite the same parameters as maybe the Paralympics so it's it's open to more children isn't it? 
Yeah, I mean, I think what we're trying to do, I mean, the, the game is massively popular and we could, to be honest with you, offer it from children right away through to able-bodied athletes. And in fact, we do to uh, able-bodied people rather. And in fact, we do to, to some extent with some of our corporate activities. But yes, the youth in particular, what we've tried to focus on is giving um, anyone who wants to play, any all young people who want to play, the opportunity to play. So we're, there's a vast spectrum of different types of ability, some with different sorts of disabilities, some who are able-bodied um, playing the game. And we think that that's really good. It has um, there are many more positive aspects from that, both from an athlete uh, point of view, but also in terms of things like disability awareness um, and and sort of teamwork and working with uh, you know individuals working together and w- all of whom have different strengths to actually bring to the environment that they find themselves in. And David, at the elite level, Britain perf- performs pretty pretty well, doesn't it? And you've got the European Championships coming up fairly soon, which is a bit of a precursor for whether or not you make it to Rio. Yeah, I mean, we've got a really important month ahead. The next six weeks is, is incredibly important for us. So two weeks' time we go to Finland, we play in the European Championships. One and two in the European Championships will get automatic qualification for Rio 2016. So, you know, that's massively important. And then after that, three weeks later, we come back uh, to play in London in what's going to be a fantastic competition, the BT World Wheelchair Rugby Challenge, which is set alongside the Rugby World Cup. Uh, World Rugby's behind it uh, as well, bringing together the top um, eight nations in the world in the Copper Box Arena back in the Olympic Stadium. So two massive events for us, which uh, we're tremendously excited about. And Max, when's your next match? In the uh, London in Copper Box. Oh, wow. You're looking forward to that? Yeah. I bet he is. <laughs> That's 13-year-old Max Davis from Patalbot and David Pond, CEO of Great Britain Wheelchair Rugby. I spoke to Max's mother on the way out. I said, will you be making a lot of noise? And she got very embarrassed and said, I'm a bit vocal <laughs> <laughs> when he's playing. She's uh, one of those mums, is she? I don't blame <laughs> Standing, her. Standing, cheering on the sidelines. Good for her. Uh, right, it's coming up to uh, half past five. Now time to get a weather update with Derek.